Cole Komet right now, it's been just dreadful, just dreadful. And we, I've harped on the passing volume issues with Cole Komet, uh, with the Chicago Bears in general, but it has fallen on Cole Komet. Okay, he does have a good matchup this week against Washington. They allow the fourth most receiving yards to the tight, uh, uh, fourth most receiving points, and uh, they're middle of the pack against tight ends this season. So it's a decent matchup for for Cole Komet. It's fine. He's still getting a 14% target share, 16% target rate. So his target share is 16th among tight ends, like it was top 12 last year. So it's dipped a little bit, but it's not falling off the shade. On that front, it's just a matter of passing volume for Cole Komet. He's the third uh, third highest tight end snap share, right? The the usage metrics are pretty high and his yards per target. He's fifth, 8.4 yards per target. He's 10th in yards per team pass attempt, 11th in yards per reception among tight ends. Uh, his target premium is 11th among tight ends. Uh, he's get, able to get separation. He's adding points, right? His EPA is seventh among tight ends at plus 10.6. Okay. So he's he's been an efficient tight end when he's gotten the work. It's just a matter of he has 12 total targets on the season in five games, right? <laughs> the only thing that's going in his favor is matchup, not game script, not pass volume, and, and tight end 16 in target share to be tight end 19 this, this week. I mean, he needs a touchdown to prove me wrong, okay? And so far... Uh, he has zero touchdowns. He has one total red zone target. And even last year, he hasn't scored. He didn't score a touchdown either. Uh, in 2020, uh, 2020 week 13 was the last time that Cole Komet scored a touchdown. So be that as it may, the betting the under on Cole Komet has been the right call so far this year.